how are you doing this is Janice welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi I um, couldn't sleep tonight so I thought I'd do a little life update and get ready with me I just thought I'd pop on here and uh, say hi so if you want to have a little sit with me and visit, just keep watching. Life is strange. Yep, it is. Um, my mom was born in 1918 and that was the last, I don't know if that was a pandemic back then or epidemic but that was the big Spanish flu I believe it was and lasted till 1919 which is the year my dad was born um, I haven't done a whole lot of research on it I just seen it pop up on you know the internet and I thought oh wow it's been a long time since we had one of these in this country that I know of yeah well, I was born in 1950, so it hasn't been in my lifetime. I mean, we've had wars, and my parents experienced those. World War One, they were quite young. Uh, World War Two, of course, in between there was the Great Depression, and uh, I'm sure they remembered some of that because they were children. But. My point is, we've been through hard times before. Just a little different. I can't, I, I mean, I admit, I'm, I was pretty scared. I am pretty scared. But, um, just going with the flow, keeping myself safe. I live in Michigan, and we just started our lockdown yesterday as of Monday evening. This is now. Well, it's now early, early Wednesday morning. Okay, it's like about midnight, 12.30, something like that in the morning. So it started last night at 12. So we had a whole day of total lockdown. I don't know if you follow me, but if you do, I just started a new job, pet grooming, my local pet groomers right down the street. It's just a couple blocks from me, in fact, walking distance. And I was all excited. Boom! Just as I started, this guy, I mean, it was already in, you know, started, obviously. But it wasn't, well, I guess our state wasn't quite hard hit yet, or so they didn't think. So, we, you know, I went out and got a job. I need the money. So, now that we're in lockdown, I no longer can work there because we cannot stay open. We're not considered an essential business. My daughter runs the business I used to have, and she isn't getting any money. So I thought, well, hopefully I can help her out. I'm not sure what the stimulus package is going to be, if that would help her because she now owns the business. Because it's a small business, very, very small. It's just her another groomer and a bather and that is it and they live day to day okay not paycheck to paycheck day to day so but she'll be taken care of I told her worst case scenario she can come up here and hang out with me I live north of her so um you know we're not supposed to see each other but it's just her she lives alone and I would take the risk. Well, today, oh, about 6, 6.30 in the evening, I noticed that I had voicemail on my phone. I thought, wow, my phone didn't ring. It's been by my side all day. And my phone does that sometimes. It won't ring in, but, you know, it goes right to voicemail. Strange. I'm going to have to check that out and see what's going on in my settings. So, I listened to the voicemail, and... It was a local business here, a grocery store, that I had applied for a few weeks ago. I wanted to be a baker. This is before I got the other job, okay? So, 
they wanted to schedule an interview. So I called back, and of course, I missed her. She had just left. So I'm going to call back tomorrow morning. So I'm, I'm going to check it out. It's our local grocery store, and I used to work in bakery. I decorate cakes, and I did an, um, baked bread, you know, all the, you know, baking things like cookies, muffins, decorating cakes, and everything that a baker would do in a grocery store. You don't actually bake from scratch. You bake from frozen loaves of bread, and then the cakes are come in from the commissary, frozen, and you just put them together and frost them. So I can do that. I know how. I know how to do, you know, dates, you know, what do you call it? Rotation. Anyway, the, so, we're going to see, because that would help me out a lot. I've been wanting to try, well, I've tried it, but I haven't tried it here on my channel, but it is the Ofra Glitch. This is shiny, so hold your eyes. It's holographic. It's the Glitch Eyeshadow Palette, and it's, it's pastels, and let's see here, I'll show you the colors. They're really gorgeous. Okay. And, or I just got my BoxyCharm, the Tardis Pro Remix, and I could try that. So, what shall I do? By the way, before I get going with this video, I would love for you to subscribe and be my friend and also hit the notification bell so you know when my next video is live. Also like this video, comment, and share. The reason why I say all this, which I usually say anyway, I am three away from my first 100 subscribers. Hee <laughs> hee! Wow, I've been doing this for a year. I listen to other YouTubers, in a matter of months, <laughs> they have thousands. But you know, I'm just a little old lady, don't know squat about, you know, I mean I know about makeup, but I'm, eh, generally I'm a unboxing channel, so they take a little longer to grow, at least, oh I don't know. They don't get as big as the young girls who do really nice makeup tutorials and you know, this have the big personality. But I'm not gonna sit here and cut myself down. I'm happy that I got this far and I haven't given up. That's why I thought I'd better upload something. It's been over a week since I've uploaded. So I thought, hmm, you guys are gonna think I'm sick or something. I'm not. <laughs> what shall I wear? I seems late, I always pick purples. All of a sudden I'm on a purple kick. Well, ah, it's too purple. Yeah, because oh, I might bring this other palette in just for darker colors because this one's pretty pastel. And that's what I'm going to do. So how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing fine and you are healthy and staying safe and are your loved ones. Now that we're older, and if you are one of my subscribers, I believe most of you are the older generation. I'm sure there's younger ones too. But we seem to be in that age bracket where we have to be careful. And I'm going to be as careful as I can be, but I refuse to stop living. But I'll live with care. With caution. I'll live with caution. Oh, I gotta admit, I've been kind of in a down mood. Who hasn't been? It's not that I really am doing too much different. I mean, though I started a job and had to stop working in three days. But I've been home all winter long. I'm a, I'm a recluse, recluse in the winter. I don't go out. I haven't went anywhere hardly. Just barely, I went down to see my daughter a couple times. And then, gosh. Went down there in November. And then I went down here at the end of January, just for a few days. That's it. 
I've been home ever since. Only time I go out occasionally is the grocery store or the drugstore. But my husband, he works at Walmart, so he usually picks up things I, I need or we need. I'm going to use, it looks like kind of a silver color right here. And I'm just playing, okay? I have no rhyme or reason what I'm doing. I just mainly want to pop on here and give a chit chat, let you know that all is well on my, my end here. And I'm just curious how everyone else is doing. And um, this is why I'm doing this video tonight. Way early in the morning. I'm a night owl anyway, so that's just me. You know, I like sleeping in and I like staying up late. I've been that way my whole life. I've always worked second and third shifts my whole life, mostly. Uh, some day shifts, but not really early, early day mornings. Although bakery, I have to start really early if I get the job. I may not. That's okay. I can adjust. My whole family is night owls. Whole entire family. Except for my dad. He wasn't. But my mom, my sisters, was my brother, me think. I think my brother was too. Um, most, a couple of my kids, but my youngest daughter, no, shoot, she's a little girl, <sighs> young. She put herself to bed all of a sudden and say, where's Sally, where's Sally? Uh, she's gone to bed, it's like 8 o'clock at night. Yeah, well, she's a good kid. Still is. <laughs> oh, she's not a kid anymore. No but, uh. Where is I going with this? I don't remember. <laughs> I've just been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Gosh, I'm really getting into Raw Beauty Christy. I've been watching some of her older ones. Some of the um, FX and makeup she's done. And the Halloween makeup look she's done. And then she had entered a contest for NYX. Um... Was it makeup? Our next contest for you know doing makeup. My brain. I see. This time of night, my brain shuts down. I quit thinking. But anyway, my point is, I've been really, really enjoying all that really unique and different makeup looks. These are very extreme and gorgeous. Okay, what shall I do next? That was a silver, and I just kind of just put right there to lighten it up. Don't know why. Why did I do that, Janice? Why did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, I this, that brush is pretty clean. It's just uh, a Morphe brush. One of Jaclyn Hills from her. From hers. I'm going to put this one on. I don't know what color it is. I got my glasses off. What's this color right here? I'm just playing around with that. It looks like a blue. Let me put my glasses on. These bright lights glare. My glasses on. See a little bit. What color is that? It's like a gray. Wow. Okay. That's cool. A gray, silver, and purple go well together. I have my camera propped on a bunch of boxes because I wanted to film at my desk or my vanity desk slash vanity so it's noisy I keep throwing things on it so this is basically just in my crease it's a silver hmm what is this gonna look like We'll blend that in a minute. <laughs> the world's worst blender. Do the purple now. Yeah, it's this one right here. I love this palette. It's like foamy right here. It looks like you pop these pans out real easy if you want to just replace a color. Or I don't know why you'd want to put another palette, but you could. Magnet, you know, one of those magnetized ones. I assume these are metal. Pretty sure they are. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put a little purple on the 
outer corners. Looks like spring is coming. It's gonna be in the 50s tomorrow. I'm excited about that. It was nice today. It was cool, a little overcast, but um, it's in the 40s, so that's good. And the ground is thawed out. I think we only got a couple of small piles of snow here and there where the shade, where it's in shade and the sun doesn't get to it. But I assume in a day or two, it's gonna be all gone. And my poor little Hazel, my little Pomeranian, she loves, loves the snow. She goes out there and she plays in it and digs in it and does snow angels. I told her today, you better get out there and play that one pile of snow because honey, it's gonna be gone. <laughs> She's a hoot. She's behind me sleeping, snoring away. Little thing I noticed, what is that noise last night in bed? What was her snoring away? I didn't realize she snored. But it was cute. Yeah, I, I tell you, was it for my pets? I don't know what I would do. There's so much company and comfort. So if you have pets, you know what I mean. It's kind of why I wanted to go back into grooming. I really missed it. I, I've been retired for over a year, not working at all. Ah, I slipped into a, a deep depression. I really think it's because I don't feel productive. I, I've worked ever since I was out and, you know, out and about, well, I started babysitting at 16, but I started actually working out when I was 18. I started waitressing and grooming. Two jobs, mind you. I was, back in the day, I usually had two jobs. I groomed by day, waitress by night. There's times I had four jobs. I would, well, one was just selling Avon, which, Kind of was a job, but I just kind of did it, you know. Eh, I didn't care. I just mainly did it to get products that, you know, cheaper. But I did sell them. I did pretty good. I groomed. I waitressed. Bart, I didn't bartend, but I, I wasn't waitressing. That's right. I was cocktail waitressing. Oh, that is waitressing. But I also was um, a maitre d. What they call us back then, because I was a girl. But I did manor d and hostess, hostess at a really nice resort in Arizona. And then by day, I cleaned houses. It was new built houses and also um, people who hired you to come in and clean their homes. So I had four jobs I was doing. And at the time I was married to my first husband I don't think he was working. He was staying home babysitting. I believe. It's been a long time ago, so it's hard to remember. There goes a brush. I had um, some fallout from that purple. It came right off. I do have foundation on in concealer so far, but that's it. All right, well, I think I'm going to grab some pink. That sounds pretty with purple and silver and gray. I love to wear pink with gray. And that is this color, right? Yeah. Okay. And I just grabbed a brush, a little Luxie brush. And I'm gonna put that here. This is really pretty. I mean, I'm not paying attention. I'm doing. I'm thinking what I'm gonna say. <laughs> but uh, for a pastel palette, it's quite pigmented. And I think it's pretty, but it is pastel. But it is spring. Yep, officially spring. So this is time of year to wear these pastel colors. This is why I haven't really used it much because I was waiting for spring. I got this probably two months ago. <laughs> oh, it's <this> a desk. <laughs> uh, just waiting to use it. And most of these, I believe they're all shimmers. Let me double check with my glasses here. I think they are. Yeah. 
they're all shimmer, but you really don't need mattes with this because it's real lightly shimmered. It's not real, you know, shiny, shiny. It's just it's perfect, actually. So, don't need a matte. Not in this case. All right, well, hmm, I guess that's looking okay. Matches my shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like it. All right, I'm gonna put some eyeliner on. This is, um, where are you? <sighs> it reminds me now I'm thinking about my eyes. I have an eye appointment next week to get my eye shot. Called my eye doctor and I says, hey, when am I do my eye appointment? I can't miss my eye shots. And the nurse says, well, we're still trying to figure that out, but we'll get back with you on that. Yeah, I can't miss those shots because when I, if I do, then my eye could hemorrhage and I could it could bleed and then I could get vision loss. So hopefully they'll figure it out. So at least go get my shot. I said, hey, I'll suit up. I need my shot. All right, this is. I just looked what this was. Star looks pro. Hmm, I've had this a while. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I'm putting this eyeliner on before I do my bottom. It's all right. Do it. We do the bottom part first with the eyeliner. Finish doing the eyeliner. A little brush. Here's a little one. I like to use these types for the bottom. And thick IO. Hmm. Put the purple on. Why not? Just to smoke it out a bit. Okay, I'm gonna put a little pink on the other side. Match the top. <laughs> Doggy here. That's what I did today. I uh, past two weeks, I've been deep cleaning my house. Of course, it's time of year spring cleaning, but I have been scrubbing sanitizing every little nook and cranny like especially the doorknobs the walls the light switches the floors of course all your um bathroom fixtures sinks you know counters and i do that you know every few days but every daily i do wipe them down and disinfect it so that keeps me busy and that's what i did this morning uh, anything I do to keep this house sterile even though my husband and I really don't go out well we might be not working so then I could really be sterile what we do then is that he comes home he goes downstairs takes his clothes off puts them in the washer jumps in the shower I didn't realize I was talking for over half hour the camera just shut off what I was saying is that my husband comes home, he throws his clothes in the washer, jumps in the shower, and washes up before he comes upstairs. And I will be doing that, well, I do it, I did it with my grooming, but I also, if I get, go out working again, I'll be doing the same. Just to keep our house sterile. And, our, and him and I, we stay apart from each other. I mean, I'm in one room, he's in, he's in the other, and if we're in the same room, we're a good 10 feet away. We sleep in our, we've had our own rooms now for several years. You know, uh, I'd rather share my bed with my dogs. <laughs> this 
how you get when you get older. I just feel more comfortable in my bed to myself. I don't want to share it. No sense to, if you know what I mean. So, curl my eyelashes. And since this, since the camera turned off, it means this video is gonna be long, but of course I'll edit it down. Time flies when you're having fun. We're gonna put a little bit of mascara on. I'm gonna go ahead and grab what I have on today. Oh, I know. I had a better than sex mini that I got in one of my boxes. I cracked it open. I forgot how much I liked it. It's been a while since I've used this. I really like it. Well, if I go back to work, all, all my deep cleaning, I was gonna go, like, go through all my boxes, you know, and sort them out and categorize them because I plan on having a garage sale whenever, you know, this clears up. Um, wanted to get that organized. Wanted to sort through some of my crafts, maybe work on a couple of those. I got some projects I want to do. You know, when you, money comes first, I mean, we're, we are hurting bad and I mean, I'm sure a lot of us are. And I was hurting before this. That's why I cut down a lot of my boxes. I believe I'm only getting, well, no, I'm only getting boxing charm base from now on. Um, Ipsy glam bag, cause I paid for a year of it and as of now, I'm still gonna get the plus. If I work, I'll go ahead and keep it. I like it. And I get the box by Fashion Star. I really enjoy that one. Mm -hmm. Did I keep? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, the rest I canceled. Um, just kind of have to trim the fat around here. And I wanted to branch out in different subjects anyway. All right, that's enough of my eyes. I'm taking forever. I'm gonna finish up my face. What I wanted to do is use the highlighter palette I got in my glossy box. Gosh, I had to cancel that. I did not want to. I'll, re I'll rejoin here in a couple months. But I'm gonna use my sleek highlighter. Oops, it's got a chintzy brush in here. Highlighter palette. And here are the colors. They're kind of dark, but there's some light ones in there. Look at the brush they give you. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a plastic there, but anyway, can't do enough with that. I'm gonna need to put it in the pinch. Use one of these lighter colors here. I think I've used this one time. Let's see if I remember if I liked it. I think I do. I think it's pretty subtle. Yeah, this brush I don't care for. I'm not crazy about fan brushes. That is also wet and wild. But... I just like this type better. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's got... Oh, I like it. It's subtle. I don't want it... It's not glittery, which I doesn't look well on me. Yeah, I'm going to grab these. I haven't used them in a while. I, I like them by... It's a blush palette by Lovecraft. And a bronzing palette by Lovecraft. I got them both in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And that's what I'm going to use. Yeah, I, I like them. Here's the bronzers. And 
I'm going to use the lightest color here. Did you see that? I did that awfully quick. <laughs> and some blush. And here are the colors here. They're really pretty. I do enjoy these. I've used them several times. And I'm going to I'll go ahead and use this lighter pink color here. All with pink and purple theme. Cross my nose. I've been doing that lately. Kind of the eager look. Kind of makes you more youthful and vibrant looking. Like you're like you're alive. You have color. <laughs> you know what? I forgot my other eyeliner. This video is all over the place. Let's do the other eye. My eyeliner. Oh my gosh, Janice. There's no hope for me. Okay. Smoking on screen. I don't know why. That's uh, I don't know. I think I got that Ipsy. It's a dark color, which is not really what I wanted, but I got an idea. I've been wanting to do this. I haven't tried it yet. I'll show you here. Go ahead and put this on with a brush. I'm experimenting. Yeah. Okay. I'm putting it on a brush because I don't want to, I don't know, I want to be precise. I don't want a whole lot on. Well, this is a while back, gosh, it, for the sole purpose of what I'm going to be doing. And it is by Maybelline and is white. I got this. So, <laughs> I could use it to lighten these dark colors because it never fails. These boxes want to give me dark colors. And I forgot I even had it. And I looked in my drawers the other day and going, oh yeah, that's why I bought that. I, let's see if it works. First time I've done this. Seems to be. Hmm, wow. Okay. This looks alright. Alright, that is my makeup look. And I'll pull my hair down and give you the final look and my final thoughts of what I did. And I shall return. This is my final look. So, yeah, I like it. It's, you know, it's pretty. I don't know if I like the lip color with the eyeshadow, but. Too late to worry about it right now. It'll, it'll do. So my final thoughts, I really do like the Ofra Glitz, Glitz palette. This is, second time I've used it so I know a little bit about it so I think it's a beautiful spring palette and I didn't go with any darker colors so that's cool I didn't have to I didn't feel I needed to bring mattes in and the rest of the makeup I've already used so I know about that so I hope you enjoyed this video I didn't really say a whole lot, did I? Oh, I know. I, I, I used the Sleek Highlighter Palette. That's new. And, yeah, I just used it right here. I didn't do, I didn't do anything extra. It's very minimal. <laughs> I used it again. So I hope this video finds you well and happy, considering the quarantines. Never had this happen in my life. Hope I don't happen to happen again. Hope it doesn't happen again. However, I have a feeling this is not going to be last time. Just the way the world is. Just a gut feeling. I hope I'm wrong. I really do. 
but I know I've learned something by it and what I've learned is to be a lot more cautious. I'm pretty cautious anyways. I'm a constantly washing my hands and when I go out to the stores or uh, I'm always constantly washing my hands when I, you know, and I always like, use my sleeve to open doorknobs. So when I go to restaurants, I always wash my hands before I eat. I've been doing that a few years now. But so what have I learned that I didn't do that I do now? Well, I've always liked keeping my distance, not because I'm not friendly. It's just I don't like people being in my space normally. I get a little anxious. But I guess just appreciating our, um, our freedom to go here and there. You know, I miss, will miss it. I don't really. Oh, that's my bedtime alarm. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to bed right away. Uh, I I am a recluse anyways these days. I never used to be when I was younger, but I am now. So I guess what I have to say is basically just want to check in and tell you that I'm doing fine. I hope you are. And I'm going to let you go now. Again, please subscribe and uh, like this video. And we'll see you in my next video, which I'm working on right now. So see you then. Bye.